If you are looking for a family-friendly town with highly rated schools and a sense of community, this is it. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa DeSantis, Broker Associate with eXp Realty, and welcome back to my channel, Mammoth Redefined, where I talk about everything and anything related to Monmouth County. In this episode, I'm gonna take you on a tour of Manalapan, New Jersey. I'm gonna show you locations, homes, as well as let you hear from some of the residents to show you what it's actually like living here in Manalapan. If you're unfamiliar, where Manalapan is located. It's in Monmouth County, which is in the central section of New Jersey. It's only about 60 minutes or so to New York City, depending upon traffic, and 20 to 30 minutes to many of the beautiful beaches. And if you love Atlantic City like I do, you can get there in only 60 to 75 minutes. I grew up in Manalpin, moved away, and decided to move back once I had a family because I knew it was a great family-friendly town to live in. There's so much to offer within the community, parks, um, a lot of everything close by, shopping. My kids have made so many friends here. We have friends right in our development. We have a great development that we could walk our puppy in. And it's just a great sense of community, and we, we really love living here. Hi, I'm Ethan, and I love living in Manalpin because in the summers we go to beaches, we go to great adventure, and I feel so safe walking to Wendy's because I live so close to it. Right now we are here at the Manalapan Recreation Center, which is located in the heart of Manalapan. The high school football games are played here, as well as many recreational sports, such as baseball, basketball, and soccer. You can see the wide open space and many of the residents love coming here to enjoy nature as well as running and walking on the paved trails. Throughout the year, they have several special events. Probably the biggest one is Manalapan Day where they have rides for the kids, activities, food trucks, concerts, and fireworks. Before we go on with our tour, there are a few things I want you to understand about Manalapan. First, we don't have a downtown area. To get to a downtown area, you're going to have to visit Freehold Borough. And there's not a lot of commercial businesses. Most of them are located up and down Route 9. Second, Manalapan can be broken down into three sections. We have Northern Manalapan, Southern Manalapan, and English Town. English Town is a subsection within Manalapan and shares the same zip code and school system. So to start our tour, let's head over to Southern Manalapan and along the way, I'm gonna take you through English Town. English Town is a historic town. Many of the homes here were built in the early 1900s. You will find a handful of newer developments but what you're going to find throughout most of the town is older homes. Also, here in English Town, you will find that home prices are going to be much lower than in both Northern and Southern Manalapan. If it's an older home, you can expect to pay around 350 to 400,000 for a four bedroom home. Now, if it's a newer home, your price for a four bedroom home in English Town is going to run you at least 550,000 or so. One of the biggest attractions in English Town is the English Town Flea Market. This popular landmark has been here in English Town for over 90 years and has been voted one of the best flea markets in New Jersey. They have both indoor and outdoor shopping, food stands, fresh vegetables and fresh fruits, and numerous different vendors selling almost everything you can think of. Now here we are in Southern Manalapan. Southern Manalapan borders Freehold and Millstone Townships and it's located right off of Route 33. Many residents love living here in Southern Manalapan 
because you tend to get more for your money with a larger home and property than you do in Northern Manalapan. As you can see, the homes here are quite spacious and located on large lots. However, one thing you do need to be aware of if you choose to live in Southern Manalapan is that most of the developments don't offer public utilities. The homes that you're looking at are all on septic and well. A home like this in Southern Manalapan is going to cost you at least $800,000 all the way up to just about $2 million, depending upon the square footage, the lot size, and the updates and amenities that the home offers. Now, if you prefer more of a community type feel and a home that offers public utilities, there are a few association developments that you will find in Southern Manalapan. The Battleground Country Club is one of them. This neighborhood offers all types of living. They have single family homes, town homes, as well as active adult section for those age 55 and plus. Residents like living in Battleground because of all the amenities that it offers. It's located on a golf course and homeowners have access to a pool, fitness center, and they have a beautiful clubhouse that offers a restaurant and caters to weddings and private parties. I actually had my client appreciation party here a few years back and it was amazing. The venue is gorgeous and they have a newly renovated outdoor pavilion. A three bedroom townhouse in this development is going to cost you right around 550,000. The adult community homes run about 600 to 650,000 and the price of a single family home is going to be about eight to 900,000. Living in Southern Manalapan, you are closer to the Turnpike and the area tends to be less congested than Northern Manalapan. A popular attraction here in Southern Manalapan is Ann Ellen's Christmas Tree Farm. Many residents enjoy going here with their families. My family and I have been going here for many years. They offer over 50,000 trees and you can choose from pre-cut ones or choose to cut down your own tree. During the holiday season, they have a village with thousands of lights, photo opportunities with Santa, a shop filled with ornaments, wreaths, and almost every holiday item you can think of. It's a wonderful family experience and definitely worth visiting. Okay, now that you know a little bit about Southern Manalapan, let's make our way over to Northern Manalapan so I can show you some locations and homes there. It can take a good 15 to 20 minutes depending upon traffic, so let's go. Route 9 runs through Northern Manalapan and that is the road we are traveling on now. As you will see, there are all types of businesses located here, convenience stores, restaurants, nail salons, pizzerias, and much, much more. If you are traveling up north, this is the road you will take to get to the Garden State Parkway. And as you can see, there are a lot of lights and at times Route 9 can get congested with traffic. This shopping center is located right off of Route 9 and gets very busy. You have the Wegmans Food Store, which residents love shopping here. It is an upscale food store and offers a variety of items that you won't find elsewhere. You also have HomeSense, Home Goods, and Target located right in the same shopping center. This epicenter opened in 2002, and an interesting fact is prior to its opening, this location was known as the Manalapan Mall. However, financial issues hit and it was demolished in 1998. Now, right across the street from here is the Manalapan Green development and residents like living here in Manalapan Green for several reasons. First, it's located right off of Route 9 and very close to the shopping center. It is also very close to the New York City Park and Ride, which is the bus that takes you to New York City. And it's also a median price development within Northern Manalapan. A home in the Manalapan Green development is going to cost you right around $500 to $650,000, depending on the size of the home, bedrooms and baths, and updates that the home offers. 
Okay, let's go take a look at one last development located here in Northern Manalapan. This is the Manalapan Preserve. As you can see, the homes resemble some of the homes that we took a look at in Southern Manalapan. However, this development does have public utilities. This is a prestigious development built by Toll Brothers, which is one of the most respected builders here in the area. The homes in the preserve range from about 4,000 to over 6,000 square feet. They offer two to three car garages, two story foyers, and nine feet ceilings throughout. There are only 40 homes within the development, so it's not easy to get into the neighborhood. When a home does go up for sale, it typically sells very quickly. You can expect to pay in the low 1 million range up to a million and a half or so. If you have any additional questions, or maybe you want further information about the real estate market, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. All of my information is listed in the description and you can call, text, email me, or connect with me on social. And if you like what you saw, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can watch all of my videos. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'm Melissa DeSantis, a broker associate with eXp Realty.